you gotta really love 318s. Um, you know, sometimes you just find the really unique ones, and I think this would be one of them. And why is it unique? Because it's brand new. Never been out of the box. Um, so you're staring at a basically new old stock 318. <clears throat> 1992, um, dealer ordered it, and there were two of them at one time, from the, how the story goes. Uh, and then the one of the crate 318s was sold sometime sometime in the 2000s and uh, it was used and this is the only one left that was in a crate. Now I mean there may be others on the shelf out there somewhere but uh, this is what it came this is what they look like um, when they came brand new. Uh, steering wheel hasn't been installed. I do have the steering wheel, do have the seat. Uh, obviously it is covered in dust. Uh, from sitting But it has never had gas in it and it does have oil in it. It actually has an oil leak Which I'll explain here in just a minute uh, it does have oil in it. Uh, I have not opened the hood the previous owner has not opened the hood um, I may open the hood if I take the crate off of it because uh, you have to pretty much disassemble the crate to open the hood But it has never been run uh, hydraulic system has never been pressurized uh, it is old enough that the Front caps have rotted, so I don't know if I'll replace those or not. But uh, you can see in there, I mean, you see it's just covered in dust. Other than that, it has not been touched. Um, I mean, what you see is what you get, and this is exactly the way it'll stay. And I'll do a better video of it um, in the future. It is still uh, strapped down to the crate. Uh, right there, the, the bolts that hold the front frame are still there. You see those? Um, <clears throat> the front axle still has its grease on it. Never been, uh, never, the front axle has never been turned. You can see right there uh, the steering. Uh, steering ram still has its, uh, the cover over the grease circ. The grease has never been moved off of the steering axle. Um, once again, it's fastened over here on this side. Steering cylinder does have some uh, dust on it, whatnot. But overall, I am very, very excited to have this. Um, I've known about it for a few years, had the opportunity to buy it, and could not say no. Uh, it will be here for a long time. Um, so, yeah, to show you that, so never had fuel in it. So if you take the fuel gauge out, if you look down in there, that's it. Let's see here if you can see out of there. Never had any fuel in it. Overall, pretty cool. So if, you're, if you ever wonder how a late 318 was set up, here's our answer. Um, you can see the dust on the frame, so on and so forth. All the hardware is new. Um, the lift cylinder is new. Whole nine yards. The only place that there's an issue is the tube for the transaxle has dry rotted. Um, so it has leaked transaxle fluid. Um, that was done sometime in the past, uh, if not since I've got it. Well, I've only had it a couple days, but you can see it's even busted off the top up there. So um, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, those tubes don't last forever and didn't expect this one to. Um, but overall, really, really excited to have it. Um, you know, nothing's been touched. I think I'm going to blow it off. And then maybe run a chamois cloth over it or something along those lines. Um, but this, it does serve as a perfect example of what a 318 should look like brand new and in the box. Um, yeah, like I said, very excited to have it. Uh, certainly one of a kind. A um, couple things that we were looking at yesterday definitely shows you that uh, the older ones, or the newer units, newer 318s, 
had the unpainted uh, nuts on the axle, uh, whereas the earlier ones were painted. And I don't know when that change was made, but I've seen a couple unpainted ones. Um, probably just how they put them together, how they changed, how they put them together. If you look in under here, you can see all the dust. Has the belly pan and everything, but you see all the dust sitting in there from storage, no wear anywhere. So the <clears throat> it's flipped upside down for the deck. Don't worry, we'll get to a deck. Um, drain hose is still intact. Uh, if you look underneath it, belly pan still there, no problems there. Front axle, all perfect. Just the way it came from the factory. Which is just what we want. So, anyway, let me go get to the next part of this video. And uh, I don't intend to do anything to this other than leave it right in this crate. Um, it's on a dolly. You can see the dolly underneath it that I built, built that last night. Um, and so now, basically with the dolly, I can push it around. I've got to find some ways to strengthen the crate up because obviously the crate is coming apart. Um, but at the same time, I don't, I don't want to change too much of what it is. I have no interest in doing that. Um, it's not going to come out of the crate, period, end of story. Uh, it, will, it will remain on this crate until, if I ever get rid of it, it will still be in this crate. Um, I may take the top off the crate to look in, look under the hood, things along those lines. But, uh, yep, that's where it's at. So, um, stay for him for the next part. All right, well, what goes better with the new old stock 318 than a new old stock 50 inch deck? Uh, so this is the 50 mid-mount mower that would come with that 318. <clears throat> Still in its box box back and there you go that's exactly what it looks like <clears throat> never used mule drives in here um, I think the rest of the mule drive is underneath the machine or underneath the deck mule drives in here uh, gauge wheels are in here instruction manual it's right in here um, down here now what's really interesting is this specifically states a 50 mid-mount mower for 318 tractor. Um, that's because I'm guessing the deck belt is already in here, the mule drive belt. And I'm sure there were 50 mowers for, it would say, uh, I'm, shocked, I'm shocked it doesn't say 316, but I'm guessing there were boxes that also said 322, 332, that, that had um, the deck belt in here. Unless the, I'm gonna have to remember, and see if uh, they sold the 50 inch deck with the 316. There's no reason for them not to. But uh, overall, you know, everything's pristine and new, just like it should, should be. Um, you see the draft arms down there. There's more gauge wheels, the rear gauge wheels um, in that box right there. But never, never used. Um, I would love to find another one. That way I can actually use it. But you see there's the serial number and everything so um, yeah super excited to have this package um, haven't decided if I'm gonna store the deck with the mower yet uh, but I think for this winter I'll probably put the deck somewhere safe out here in the shop and then we'll we'll work on uh, permanent storage later uh, probably figure out something to do with the deck. I haven't decided exactly what yet. Probably needs to go over in that pallet racking over there. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> now the only problem is I got to protect both this deck and the 318 uh, from anything bad happening to it. And so, cause you know, you don't want to crush the crate. You don't want to ruin the box. You know, you don't want to get rust on it or anything like that. So, try to remove the harsh environment and kind of go from there. But figured that uh, some of you might appreciate this. Some of you might already know this based on some, some uh, posts that were made, but um, that is, I mean, that's public knowledge. But uh, anyway, 
that's a new old stock 318 and new old stock 50 inch deck. Thanks for watching.